G'day from sunny Bahrain, and what a unique country this is. Come with me as I tell you what I've been up to for the past week. Okay, so he's let a bird go over here. To bite this. Right, okay, you can go. Off it goes. Whoa! We're going to release this bird while driving along. This bird is getting ready to go and chase some prey. We're going to get whacked with its wings. Okay, it's gone. So we're now travelling with the bird and it's looking for the prey which is in front of it. Straight in front of the car. Oh, he's missed it the first time. I'm going to take you up hills, down hills, sideways, soft sand. I'm going to play with this little baby here. It's like a roller coaster. Oh, wait for it. Well, that was quite remarkable. It was a pretty impressive uh, demonstration from Ibrahim. So thank you very much, my friend. Pleasure. Good job. As you probably know, a lot of the F1 drivers started their racing careers in go-karts. Now, I'm well past the age that they started, but I thought it's never too late to start. Rightio, we've got half an hour in this thing, and it's one of the coolest days I've ever experienced in Bahrain, and already I'm hot. just done 30 minutes and it was a heck of a lot of fun. Whether or not I'll be any challenge to an F1 driver is uh, probably in no doubt. The answer is no. But if you're looking for something fun to do, you should come out here. But you don't want to do it on a hot day. It's a reasonably cool day today and in this race suit uh, there is a little bit of sweat. So uh, pick your days but I think you'll enjoy it. Well this is the centre of Bahrain and uh, it's an interesting place. Plenty of retailers here. You've got to watch out for them though. They, they will try and take you, but they'll always do it with a smile on their face. I had actually considered buying one of these and the headdress for a video. Australia, I'm from India. Good yeah. get, good get. Yeah. <laughs> How do you get this on? No, no, you... I think I'm getting roped into this. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Bahrain. Well, for something very local, we've come down to Haji's Cafe. It's been up and running since 1950. It's in the center of town. We've decided to sit out here in the alleyway, but uh, behind me there's a section that we could have sat in, and then there's one behind just for family. We went with something pretty tame, eggs and beans with a bit of cheese and a sauce, and this bread, which is made to order. Good. And this all came to about three US dollars and you come up to this little hut to pay at the end. It was a really lovely experience. I was most impressed with the bread baking. They were full on, very talented people. This is Halwa Bahrain, this is traditional here. It's hot, and it's very sweet, and, uh, very sticky. And this is another one, this is saffron with the uh, honey. Oh, oh, it's awfully messy. Okay. I tried this a couple of years ago. How do I describe it? It's just really thick, sweet. And this again is called Halua Bahrain. Halua Bahrain, yes. And you've got to say Bahrain, not Bahrain. They don't like it when you say Bahrain. Arabic coffee. <laughs> well, I don't drink coffee, but I'll have one drink taste one just taste. for the video. This is Arabic coffee. This is remote sweet. You ready? Here we go. I just can't understand how anyone can drink that. I have no this, this is like Arabic. of coffee whatsoever. <laughs> Now, a lot of you have had a crack at me for not eating more local food, so today I'm here at this very famous local Bahraini restaurant. I've no idea what to expect, so let's go inside. Well, lunch today consists of a mountainous plate of spicy rice, not hot spicy, flavour spicy, some sea bass, and it's a whole fish cut in half, and uh, I get one side of it, and then we have a nice very pleasantly coloured salad. Shall we have a crack? Come on! Well straight up the rice is sensational and I've managed to pick all the bones out of the fish fillet and it being a very soft white fleshy fish is mighty tasty. So if you're asking me for 
my verdict on the local food so far. I'm impressed. Well, that was a lovely meal here at Tabriz Restaurant. It doesn't look much from the outside, but it's quite lovely in here. And what did that cost for the two of us? 11 BD, which is around about 30 US dollars. Pretty darn good value, I reckon. We have four seasons in Bahrain a year. We have winter, summer, summer and summer. And this is the Grand Mosque here in Bahrain. It was a copy of the Muhammad Ali Mosque from Cairo. Back in 1932, they discovered oil in this region. And today, when I fill my tank up, I will pay a mere 37 cents US per litre. See this 600 ml bottle of water? That cost me 26 US cents here. If this was filled with fuel, 22.2 .2 cents. Fuel is cheaper than water in this country. I've just traveled 15 kilometers from Bahrain to the border. And the border is actually located on a man-made island. And this is the border fence. If you wanted to go from Bahrain to Saudi uh, before 1986, you had to take a boat, or I guess you could fly. But uh, in 86, they built the King Fahd Causeway, 15 kilometers to here, another 10 to get to the mainland in Saudi. Uh, there is a toll on the Bahraini side. It's about uh, six US dollars. And the road is fantastic. And then as you get to this island, it's pretty darn impressive. Now you're probably wondering, can I drive through here? Not today. You need a visa, and I don't have one. But my guide can, because he's a Bahraini. In fact, any Gulf local can move freely between these two countries. And can I see Saudi from here, some 10 kilometers away? Yes. I can see the coastline of, what is that city? What's that city? Al Khubar. Up there is a restaurant. We don't have time to go to it today, but it's a pretty impressive building. And in most Middle Eastern cities, you're never too far from a mosque. And this one is on the island. So if you're keen to get a quick prayer in before you head to Saudi or on your way back, they've got you covered. What you may not know is that the Bahraini dinar is one of the strongest currencies in the world. Second, I believe, only to the Kuwait dinar. And they go as far as having half dinar notes. This one here is worth two Aussie dollars, so that's a dollar thirty-three US. And on this side of the note, you can very clearly see that it has the Bahrain International Circuit with that iconic tower. Either side of us are a whole lot of camps. They're um, nothing too sophisticated, but this is the tree that we've come to see. Just the other side of these camps. In fact, it's surrounded by camps. So the tree we've come to see is 100 meters that way. But all over here, there's these different food trucks and a bar. I'm getting Mad Max vibes. And it gets even better. Quad bike rentals for kids and adults. Oh, and there's even a drive through burger joint constructed from shipping containers. Now, I've been told that the local Bahrainis actually come out here to camp. It's a popular get out of town location. I think it's about 50 minutes from the center of town. This is the tree of life, said to be about 400 years old, and there's no other vegetation around for a few hundred meters. It's just this tree and a rubbish bag. And then it was a 30 minute drive back to the city for a meal at what turned out to be a rather unique restaurant called Meat Moot, which is not far from the La Meridian Hotel. And my gosh, the presentation was magnificent. Oh, that is, that is astounding. Mm. That is brilliant. And what do we pay for a kilogram of stunning lamb shoulder? about 27 US per person, and that included unlimited free soft drinks. I gave it an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Loved every minute of it. Welcome to Mikmod Rostrad. With that said, it's now time for me to ask you one favor. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so. And for a whole lot of unique content, check it out here. Thanks for watching. And stay passionate. Avran, you should fix this if it feels right.
That's good. Yeah, just, that's no, good. No, 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 it's not good. No, no. no. Let me help you out. Let me help you out. It's just let me get the elastic band right for you, just so because that. this thing will hold this. Yeah. Good, good, good. You, you need just that positive friction, but right. it's. Uh, I think it's okay. That's good. It's good. Okay, yeah. and then this. You got enough? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get Rashid. All okay. this for a photo. Is there any pockets in this? Yes, no. we got one here and two there. Mm. So one down here somewhere. Have a good one here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. This is this is the thing. Is that skinny one? That's. I'm sorry, I wouldn't even... Well, oh, that was just something... Uh, the guy was really good for a yeah, video bit. Yeah, starting to look like a sheikh already. Yeah. <laughs> On the right size. <laughs> you look, you like? Uh, you, you look excellent. 